Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to talk about 5 useful tips for getting a loan for purchasing real estate in Poland from our experience. Many investors choose to tap into equity in their own primary home to help finance the purchase of their investment of properties. Banks and other lending institutions have many different products that allow you to tap into the equity you funded. For example, an investor may purchase a property, but instead of going through the normal procedure of trying to finance the property itself, he can instead take a loan on his own home to pay for the property. In order to obtain in home equity loan of credit line, you must first have equity in your home. But what if you don't have a real estate property in Poland? Banks will typically only lend up to a certain percentage of your home's value in this total. This percentage differs between lenders, but it's not uncommon to find a lending institution that will offer to lend up to 90% of the value of your home. So how do you get a loan? The first tip is make a sizable down payment. Banks do not finance property even with mortgage on a property for 100% of the property price. The second tip is be a strong borrower. You or your company should have a good loan history and there is nothing good about not having loan history at all, because the bank does not have any record of how you are paying your debt. The third tip is apply for a loan to several banks at a time. If you are rejected in one bank, you still can get a loan in another one. And what is very important is that record of rejection is not shown in external bank system called BIC right away. So other banks will not know about the rejection. It is a common practice to do so. Also, you can use some loan agents that work with many banks and they will do this for you. Also, you pay them nothing because they get paid by the banks they are working with. The fourth tip is you should have a stable income in Poland, which means you should be employed or do business for a certain period of time. The final fifth tip is applicable to foreigners only, and it is that you should have a residence status, which means you should have a residence permit in Poland. And the longer you have your residence permit, the better it is. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to have a professional investment advisor from our team of experts in Poland, book now appointment from us below. See you soon.